so this is our sour cream chocolate icing. Uh, I put it in the fridge. Um, might need a metal spoon for this one. Um, and all I'm gonna do is melt it so that we can work with it again. And I, I reheat this a couple times if I need to, so it's okay, you don't need to use it all just because you're melting it. Um, and again, you could do this on a double boiler or microwave. I'm gonna start this at 45 seconds. So this is the second time in for 45 seconds and it's pretty close. Probably gonna do another 30 seconds see where that gets me. You want all these lumps out of there. Um, but you don't really want it to get too hot. So I'm just going to put it in for another 30 seconds and see where that gets me. Now this is lovely, shiny, melty. Make sure all those lumps are out of there, but they pretty much are. Um, okay, now comes a fun little like catch 22 thing about this icing. Uh, if it is this warm uh, and wet, it, uh, it'll just kind of drip off. This is just going to be too much. It's not so much a catch-22, it's just you need to warm it up and then you need to cool it back down. Um, and you just have to use it kind of right at the right time. Um, you can just um, kind of put it on with an offset spatula. Uh, totally an option, very cute. Um, but you can also pipe it. And since a few of my friends wanted some piping videos, I'm going to show you how to pipe this sour cream chocolate icing when it is cool enough. Okay, so this is our sour cream icing and I've let it cool for a while. It's still pretty soft, but I think if you're real delicate with it, should be fine. Now we'll find out. Let's see. Mm. It's keeping an edge, but barely. So I'm gonna let it cool a little longer. Nice and thick. Perfect. Pipe. And I'm also going to do a rosette like I did with my buttercream, but it looks very different when you change the tip. And you have to be very delicate with this icing. And you can see it's almost half a rosette that I do. It's more like a, like a swoosh because I like that outside layer and I don't want to cover it. Or I guess it's the, the inside swirl. But again, this icing is crazy delicate when you're trying to pipe with it. Remember, get rid of your air bubbles down from the top of the bag. Mm -hmm. Start there and swoosh. A couple 
more. I'm going to save one to show you the other way I like to do it. Just a little more rustic looking. Where have all those air bubbles? And honestly, I kind of don't even press at the end. I kind of just add a little pressure in the beginning. And then by the time I'm at that swoop, I'm kind of just completely not putting any pressure on the bag. It's that delicate. Cool, and now I'm just gonna show you the regular um, Lot of icing on here, kind of thicker. Just gonna cover the top. Nice and covered. Of icing. didn't like that one, so I'm just going to redo it. It's not going well for me today. You guys tell which way I like to do this more? Swoosh is nice. There we go. It's a lot more rustic. Not, not quite as fancy. Oftentimes when I do that, I use a piping bag first, but I feel like if you're trying to do it without a piping bag, yeah. That one's a little sad. Sorry, you guys. Let's do the piping method. It's better. 